sorry for it taking so long to make another video. Things have been a little busy over here, so that's why it's taken me so long, obviously. I wanted to talk about this camera right here. This camera doesn't really get talked about much. It is the Lumix GX85 from Panasonic, and it's an amazing camera. The reason for picking this camera up is because I wanted a small camera and a small form factor that I could use as a third camera body and perhaps a wedding ceremony, maybe a third angle for some other reason. But what I really like about this camera is all the functions inside of it. I picked up this camera for around 400 bucks USD. Um, it came with a 25 millimeter 1.7 lens from Panasonic, a 45 to 150 millimeter telephoto lens from Panasonic, as well as a standard 12 to 32 millimeter kit lens. So you could say it's a pretty good deal for an amazing camera that's able to shoot 4K all the way up to 30 frames per second. Full HD at 60 frames per second. I don't really use that, but if you want some sort of slow motion, then you have the option. And it has in-body stabilization in it as well. So it's great being able to take this out. Don't have to rig it up. Obviously, the point of buying this camera is to have a small body. So you can just hand hold it and shoot whatever you need and not worry about micro jitter or anything like that. I really love how sleek the design is as well. You have an articulating screen and it has a small, very functional viewfinder. I do like using the viewfinder when I'm shooting photos, when it's bright out. The screen isn't the brightest, but it works for sure. You don't get as many profiles as you do with the GH series profile, but what you do get is natural. And that's all I need for filmmaking. A dialed down version of natural is all I need. You are able to get Cine like D with a little workaround, but I don't even mess with Cine D. I don't mess with any of those other profiles because I love what I can get out of the natural profile with the Panasonic cameras. Autofocus is very good on this camera for photography. Autofocus for video, definitely not usable. Uh, its continuous focusing abilities is way too slow to track subjects or anything of that sort. I love the 25 millimeter 1.7 paired up with this body. It creates for a, a beautiful portrait setup. And it's a light, light setup, that's for sure. And it's very inconspicuous. So when you're shooting street photography, very minimal, not obtrusive, and I really love that about this camera. Battery life is pretty decent as well. I can get around an hour, hour 25 out of a single battery. Real small batteries, but you can fit multiple in a small bag when you're out on a shoot. If you're lazy and don't want to convert images to black and white in post, you have options like the dynamic monochrome mode. It's very similar to some of the Fujifilm cameras. Uh, when you don't want to process, just shoot black and white in camera and the results are very pleasing. It feels very good in the hands. Uh, I know some people complain about smaller cameras, smaller bodies that don't fit the hand right. It feels funny in your hand and you feel like you don't have enough grip, but I don't have that problem with this camera. There is no 3.5 millimeter jack in this camera, so you aren't able to run external microphone into it. You do have, I wanna say that's micro HDMI, as well as a USB-C, whoa, what is that? No, is that USB 3.0? Sorry, micro USB or USB-C? I don't know. Um, I will show a close-up of that so you can figure it out. You have peaking and histogram options on here, which is awesome, especially in such an inexpensive camera body. You have zebras as well, which is amazing. You also have Wi-Fi. So when you're on the go, you don't have your computer with you 
and you want to send your files directly to your phone, you have that option. But for 500 bucks, brand new, you're able to pick up the kit lens, the 12 to 32, the 45 to 150 telephoto, and the camera body. That's a steal. 4K video, great photos, great for street photography, fast autofocus with native lenses. It's a pretty awesome deal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time.